welcome back to another episode of our not so berry challenge we are of course on peach jen who is currently getting her beauty sleep right now she currently has little robin herself named after robinson's peach juice my absolute fave although today i have a coffee but can you tell this is ali's coffee mug and not mine what gave it away so she has five days left until she ages up and I'm kind of going to challenge myself for today's episode. So not so Barry, your life is like predefined. Everything that you do is predefined. And in fact, let's remind ourselves what is predefined for Robin. So she is Gen 8, which is Peach. Her traits, foodie, lazy and goofball are all predefined. Her aspiration joke star is predefined and her career detective is predefined. It will be predefined that she has to marry a co-worker. She's got to play an instrument, which she does. She plays the violin. She's got to master the gourmet cooking and comedy skills. We're doing great with this, but we are yet to unlock gourmet cooking we obviously have not started our detective career yet and very soon we will be moving to a different world to the one that we were raised in i'm actually really excited for this because my game is running incredibly slowly so i'm pretty excited to move out to a one sim household again because the more sims you have the more the game slows down i also by the way just want to give a little shout out because i've always credited little simsy with the not so berry challenge but it has recently come to my attention that it isn't just kayla that made this challenge it is also zoe who is always simming so a big shout out to always simming zoe as well i've been really really enjoying this challenge because it's let me find a bunch of new things in the sims that i wouldn't usually play with and i've really really enjoyed challenging myself in that way but I'm going to be challenging myself even more today. So it is 5 a.m. I'm going to make sure we're up and ready for school. Because everything is so predefined, I was thinking today, you know, to be a little bit kinder to Robin. Because I'm going to plan the rest of your life for you, my love. Look at her. She's refusing to get out of bed. This is because she's lazy. She's like, nah. I'm not ready for mornings. Yeah, I'm going to sleep in. Got to get up for school. Come on, get up. There we go. Because everything is so predefined for her, I am going to let her have one episode where she can truly just do whatever her heart desires oh. i am gonna make this the whims only episode of the not so berry challenge so what does that mean i've done whims only challenges in the past and basically what it means is you have to follow the whims that your sims wants so right now um coral wants to hug somebody oh my gosh the cuts i'm actually low-key looking forward to not having a cut again because they just meow all the time and it's really freaking annoying like it's so annoying i think we're probably gonna get robin a dog for that reason but i can get him to go ahead and give robin here a loving hug and that is one of coral's whims completed and then for robin she for example wants to watch comedy on tv because she's feeling playful it's also pretty perfect for me because it will improve her comedy skills so i'm gonna get her to come in here and watch comedy it just means that basically all the sims are gonna get an episode to do the things that their hearts truly desire i'm gonna be doing it for all four of our household members today but there is actually also a cheeky other reason that I'm doing this. And that is because completing your whims does actually build up your points for the reward store. And we know that is going to be super, super useful for Robin because I use this a bunch with Coral. And it gave him a load of new traits that were super helpful for me, such as being a morning sim and an night owl, which means he could boost his skills really quickly. He is creatively gifted and a creative visionary. So there is just all these extra things that I did to make the Not So Berry Challenge easier. And I haven't really done it heavily with Sims in the past, but it helped me out a lot with Coral. So I figured, why don't we go ahead and try and make it help us out a lot with Robin too? And we will start building up her points here so that I can make her Not So Berry part of the challenge as easy as possible for me. Such as, we know she's a lazy Sim, so maybe she should be a professional slacker as well so she can't lose job progress making her entrepreneurial will help her get promoted more in the detective career as well seven is going to be super useful for the gourmet cooking skill as well so there's a lot of these that i would really like to get but um i'm just kind of nowhere near there yet so we will try and add as many as we can today now i can't get us to go to the museum because there's not enough time before school buy a bee box really a bee box okay i guess i'm buying bees then who buys bees in the beginning of spring is that a good bee buying time i kind of don't feel like it is but okay let's buy bertie's bee box i'll buy it in which is closer to peach Let's go for this one. That's actually going to help with our so-called well-maintained garden, which is not looking so well-maintained right now, I've got to say. So this might actually be a good shout. I'm going to put it far away from the house because the bees tend to try and sting everyone all the time. And I feel like the family is going to be regretting this quite soon. Coral, you are kind of basically retired now. I'm not making you right anywhere near as often. So why don't you go ahead and maintain your garden? I know it's not one of your whims, but it is technically part of your not-so-berry challenge. And now you're heading off to high school. So 
Oh, you don't want to ask for advice when you're home too. Have a good time at high school. We do have her more relaxed appearance, which I think over time will get more and more relaxed. You guys really like the idea of her being a little bit like Sandra Bullock in Miss Congeniality, which I kind of love as well because I love that film. I absolutely love Miss Congeniality. So that is a great idea for her. And then maybe she has some like... <laughs> Oh my gosh, what, 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 what? August has just died. I was about to say Robin might get a dramatic makeover one day. August just straight up died. August, of course, being Blossom's partner. Please forget the gardening for now. Try and save your twin sister's partner. No, you, please, you've got to give me a chance. You've got to give me a chance. Please. Oh my God, cat, shut up. Shut up, cat. Please, it's my, it's my twin sister's partner. Oh, did he say no? Oh, he wasn't able to help. Oh, Blossom, no. Oh, no. Oh, Blossom. Oh, my gosh. What kind of dramatic start to the episode is this? I didn't finish my book of life. I didn't finish the book of life. Otherwise, I could have given it to the Grim Reaper. But I keep getting a bug on it where every time I try and write it, he stops writing it. I've not been able to save August. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Oh no. Guys, August is dead. Okay. This is truly horrible. We're gonna have to look after Blossom today as well in a major way. And that is the end of August. Oh jeez, I can't believe that's happened. What? Okay, not good. Not good at all. I'm so sorry, Blossom. I am so sorry. Well, how unlucky that he got killed by lightning. That doesn't even happen very often, I swear to God. That's crazy. Oh, geez. In uh, other less sad news, I did sign up. Oh, Robin has to present in front of the whole class. Do the minimum because you're lazy. I have signed up Mahina to a better talent agency because I really want to try and boost how does, well she does in her career before she has to like retire. Although she could become a silver haired, silver screened legend. And uh, Robin, why? What a nice performance. How, ooh, royalty report. How straightforward and expected, says the teacher. Robin earns a straightforward and expected grade. Well done, Robin. See? Sometimes it pays to be a little bit lazy. And okay, seeing what's just happened to August has made me realize. I really have to start writing this book of life. Apparently I'm writing two of them, which is the crazy thing, but haven't managed to complete either of them yet. And we're gonna spend a whole day trying to look after Blossom as well. Let's take a mind off it with a movie. Oh, look at this sweet thing that um, Mahina said to Blossom. No one should have to experience watching someone they care about pass. I'm so sorry you had to see that Blossom. I am here for you. That's so sweet. These two have not always seen eye to eye. So it's kind of nice that, you know, now that they're a bit older, the relationship is improved and we're making them feel a little bit more like friends. Coral, write the book. Stop getting distracted. Just write the book of life, please. Before you run out of life, because you're looking very old. Oh, and now she just autonomously checked on her. I'm all right, Mahina. I just have some things I'm dealing with. Thank you for checking on me. Bless her. Okay, I'm glad we're looking after her. Okay, I've got um, Robin meeting friendos in school today. So she's met Bryson. Bryson is the latest person that she's met at school. And I'm kind of thinking the more Sims I meet, the more chance that I might end up with a co-worker that is like somebody I bumped into at school, which I think could be really cool because obviously she's got to marry a co-worker in the detective career. So I really want it to be someone we've met before. And I'm going to keep fulfilling whims. So Mahina would like to read something. Do I have a bookcase in this house? Oh, do I not have a bookcase in this whole house? Is that why I can't purchase his books? Do I not have a bookcase? Oh, no way do I not have a bookcase. How are you a famous author without a bookcase? What is that, Coral? What is that? Let's fix that immediately. And okay, boom, what an achievement. Coral just finished writing an entire book. So it should be in his inventory now. The Book of Life. Capture a Sim's life in an epic poem. It's only worth $23 but it's supernatural. And you guys said as well that the reason that Coral can't purchase his books that he's written is I should have been making copies of them this whole time. So <gasps> I feel really bad about that, which is super annoying. <gasps> okay, capture epic saga. After I've written the book of life, I have to specifically write it about a person in order to keep them alive. Is that how it works? I feel like Coral has always looked out for his little sister and Blossom has just been through so much. She could die of sadness. I feel like he would definitely want to look after Blossom. So I'm gonna write the epic saga of Blossom. And I'm like, oh my gosh, the cats have been so cute. Look at this, this is actually adorable. And then I realized they're doing it in trash. What the hell, why you do that? Okay, so both the kids have come home with school projects. 
But is that really what you want to do? What is your whim? You want to hip bump somebody. I want you to get a shower if I'm being honest. But why don't you go ahead and hip bump Robin? You guys have been teasing each other quite a lot recently. And technically Robin is meant to be going through a mean streak. But you can have nice sibling moments every now and again. That is fine. And you want to show off your muscles for somebody. What muscles? I don't think I've ever seen you do any heavy lifting. But if that's what you want to do. I literally can't even find the option for her to show off her muscles. Like... Where is this show of muscles? All I can see is annoy, which I kind of want to do because, uh, you know, they're siblings. I think it'd be kind of funny. And if you want to show off your muscles, Robin, you should probably do some lifting, especially if you want to become a police officer one day. You need to be kind of strong. So I'm going to go ahead and get a little weightlifting thing because I feel like it makes sense for what she wants to do in the future. So get some weights, Robin. Get some lifting. And then you'll be able to tackle the bad guys. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Why have we just randomly started doing that? I feel like this is proper sibling rivalry. Robin showed off our muscles, so I'm going to start doing some press-ups. Crunches, press-ups? I'm not quite sure what they were. Maybe I'm the one that needs to work out, honestly. And then Coral wants to chat with Blossom, which makes sense because she is feeling down. So let's go ahead and catch up with our sister, make sure she's okay. And it also told me that Coral has recorded Blossom in the Book of Life. So, wait. Blossom, what is your surname? Hey? When did your surname change? Like, seriously, when did that happen? Oh, Zach died? Oh my gosh, Zach's died. He had seven children? What? And school is stupid. I should just be able to start working and living life. Can I never go to school again? You need to keep going to school for a little while, okay? Don't grow up until you need to. Oh, and she married August. They got married in the garden. Okay, that makes sense now. I just kind of low-key forgot about that. Okay, Mahina's feeling flirty, so I'm gonna get her to watch some romantic tv since that's what she wants to do kai is feeling energized and wants to do setups again why why does this child just want to be working out on the floor all the time okay do some more setups and how about you robin what do you want to do you want to admire yourself in the mirror you're feeling yourself we love a bit of self-confidence you can go admire yourself in the mirror and then you're also having a rare moment where you actually want to finish your homework I i'm pinning that I don't think I've ever seen you actually want to do that before. So please come do your homework. And then also bless him. Uh, Kai wants to cloud gaze with Robin. Cloud gaze with his auntie. I think that's really cute. So I'm going to, once she wakes up from her nap, I'm going to suggest that they do that. And oh my gosh, I told you it wouldn't last long. I don't think she finished her homework. No, nope, she didn't even start it. She cleared the thing that I pinned. And now she is excruciatingly fatigued lazy sims hate activity even picking up the remote results in overexertion so she's so tired from that tiny bit of exercise she did that she's literally just gone straight to bed at 6 55 p.m good job oh my gosh trying to get robin to do her homework is so difficult i have to like literally watch her she'll do it for a bit and then she's like no nah, i hate this but instantly super tense i hate decision making why can't decisions be made for me and not like literally she just stops You've only done 50% of it. I mean, you're a grade B. I'm not overly bothered. Okay, don't want to do that. Why are you thinking about babies? No. There you go. Thinking about lobster. That's better. I don't need to get her to a grade A student, so I might just kind of low-key leave her. Because I feel like this is just stressing her out for no reason. And now she's just fallen asleep at the kitchen table. Okay. <laughs> it's very hard to get you to do anything. I guess that's the laziness coming through. But it doesn't make it any easier. Oh! <gasps> And oh my gosh, I just watched Blossom age up. Oh, Blossom is now an elder. Okay, I'm going to give her a tweaked look since she's an elder. And I feel genuinely really sorry for Blossom. She like, you know, grew up as this hopeless romantic, went through a tough time because of it. Like she's gone into old age with her partner dying right before. Has never had that much luck with love. And then Coral was there with all of his success with love, despite literally not really trying or wanting it. I just, I don't know. I feel so sorry for her. At least she's always had a big brother looking out for her. More than she'll ever know now that she's the subject of a book of life. Oh, look how cute she looks older. Oh, bless her. There we go. Older Blossom as well. And oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I was like, you know what? I'll give her apartment a little bit of like an older person makeover since she's an elder now. And then I get, it looks like my time here is at an end. With age comes new adventures. I'll be moving out by the end of the day. But I just decorated your apartment for you. What are you doing? Why would you do this to me? Blossom, where are you going? What are your new adventures? I don't know, but I kind of also if she wants to go out and experience new adventures i kind of want to let her i don't know i sort of do why are you having a little cry 
Oh, from watching Moonlight Massacre at 4 a.m. in the morning. Why are you watching horror films at this time at your age? You're way too young for that. Oh my gosh, stop. Get back to bed, you little weirdo. Getting up in the middle of the night to read to watch horror movies. Because Mahina's so overprotective, she'd never let him watch them. So instead he sneaks up in the middle of the night and watches them. You're going to go to bed with nightmares after watching that. Or maybe you're actually secretly a way tougher kid than we think you are. Or the Mahina thinks you are. And Blossom's just come into our house to clean it all at 4 a.m. She just cleaned her shower. Is this like... Oh, jeez, look at that. Uh, is this like her goodbye gift? Like, what is this? Okay, you've woken up and you want to relax in the sauna. You're not making things easy for me. Buy a hot tub. Collect honey. Right, that one I can do. Why don't you come outside and look after the bees that you were so desperate for me to buy? Go and collect some honey and look after the bees, okay? <gasps> Sorry to go, but new adventures await. Goodbye. I mean, they they don't look like new adventures. You don't look like you're saying goodbye. <laughs> what is this? Okay, and during art, Robin's class is instructed to create a flower-themed cards for each other. Because <gasps> it's love day. After gathering glitzy colored pencils, construction paper, petals, and fuzzy pipe cleaners, she sat down. Her creative juice is flowing. The cards would be shared and open with the rest of the class during the party. Later, this had to be good. Two themes came to mind. Hilarious flower cards or heartfelt flower cards. It's Robin. She's a jokester. She's definitely not interested in love right now. So I'm going to go for hilarious flower cards. Apparently Robin isn't funny. At least the teacher didn't think so. Her classmates didn't think so either. Even her friends didn't think so. The word being thrown around is insensitive. Apparently she needs to start taking people's feelings a little bit more seriously and not try and mock holidays that others hold dear. Oh my gosh, you are so Miss Congeniality right now and I'm so there for it. You are not sick again, Mahina. <laughs> you and your sickly jeans. I can't. Go and get some water and then what do you want to do? Help Robin with the homework. That is cute. She needs it. Lord knows she needs it because I can't get her to do a homework. Do you also want to schedule a day and travel to the gym? I mean, it is love day. I do want to send you guys on a date. But that means not doing anything with Robin and Kai. So it's kind of tough. <gasps> oh, and Kai's, Kai's grade is up to a B. Uh, Robin's remain at a B. And Kai met a friend Jordan at school. Good job, Kai. <gasps> Snap is now an elderly cat, guys. I have way too many cats, so. Although it's sad, it's also not, you know, the worst thing in the world. Oh, and I was so close to getting us to finish her homework. Why would you... No! Why would you stop there? Like, literally, Mahina's over her shoulder like, you will do your homework. You will do... It's so hard to get her to finish homework. Like, you don't even understand. I've never had a sim quite like this before. Homework complete. Oh my gosh. I actually don't believe it. I actually cannot believe it. <gasps> and she wanted to go and get to know Coral. So I brought her in here. Coral... Ooh, dizzy heads all around. Coral was just start sat in Blossom's room. I think he misses her. Oh, I might get him to give her a ring and just check. Like, where did you go? Hope you're okay. Hope everything's going well. Your surname hasn't changed. So, you know, that's good. So bless him. I guess you never stop being a protective older brother, do you? He sat in her room after she left having a chit chat on the phone with her. It's so cute. So, so far, I've managed to get Robin up to... Not yet 2,000. I, if we can buy her one thing today that I think will help her in future, then I will do it. I also need to work on this. She needs to be funny to five sims. I think she's made everyone in the house laugh. Probably need to start making some other folks laugh as well, though. <gasps> What's happening? What's happening? Who just died? Pop! <gasps> oh my gosh, why is this? Th this was meant to be the whims episode, not the death episode. Like, seriously, sims, what are you doing? Pop has now died. So now everyone's going to be running outside sad about Pop after running outside from being sad about August like two minutes ago. You have had a really harsh lesson about death today for your young age, Kai. I'm so sorry about that. And since it's love day, I'm almost worried to do this. You've got to be got to be careful now, the elders, but you guys can have some love day woo-woos. Just go easy, okay? He's an old man now. Go easy. And we are collecting cartons in this house. I mean, that is, that's a lot of cartons, I'm just saying. I don't think I've ever seen a table with three on it before, but there we are. And oh my gosh, I still have Christmas decorations up. <laughs> Let's just uh, get rid of those real quick. If I end up, like, killing Coral with the woo-woos in this episode and we have three deaths, I swear to God. Although, what a way to go, you know? And Crackle is old now, oh my gosh. This is just the episode where everyone's far too old or dying. Oh, and Mahina's... Mahina is also... Almost ready to age up too. God. And look, now that he's older and kind of semi-retired, 
Kai actually has, uh, not Kai, Coral actually has a well-maintained garden and he doesn't hate it. He's kind of vibing out here, having a good time. The house must be like, feel so quiet for him. He's like the only one here. Mahina's still working, the kids are at school. His sister's moved out. August isn't even coming to bother him anymore. He's just kind of vibing out on his own. Can't decide whether it's relaxing or whether it's kind of like lonely. He is an extrovert, so maybe he does find it a bit lonely. I don't know. He's also got the same personality as I feel like going to a different town today. Not today, but soon. Soon, Robin. Uh, him and Robin have really similar personalities. In fact, they have the exact same personality. Interesting. They're both doers. Although one of them's a bit lazy. I don't really know how that works. <gasps> and Robin is actually a grade A student. Oh, Trey wants to come over and hang out. You're actually grade A. Wow. You see, you're a smart cookie. You finish your homework once, once, and you get to grade A. Like, literally. And look, Trey's come to hang out as well. See, I love Trey. I don't actually think he's going to enter the police career. I don't think Robin's into... Oh, everyone's ill. I don't really think Robin's into him in that way. I feel more like they're going to be, like, friendos for life. I think it's that vibe instead. But I kind of like that she's got a best friend that maybe doesn't have to end up as a romantic interest. I just don't... Like, if I go to this... Yeah, like, the older she's got, the more she's realized she perceives him as very unattractive. He's not. Like, he's a good-looking dude. Obviously, she doesn't find him attractive, but I feel like they've got more of, like, you know, like, a brotherly and sisterly kind of friendship. So that's maybe why she's like, no, no, I don't see him in that way. But I like that. I think that's cute. Coral has finished another book of life, and, you know, he's already did one to look after his sister. It was his main focus for most of his life. But I feel like this one we should... Um, wow, Tessa is still alive and is a secret agent. Did not see that coming. I feel like this one we're going to do about Robin. I feel like he's going to want to like, you know, he's looked after his sister. He's also going to want to look after his little girl. Now, I don't really understand what the Book of Life does. I genuinely don't quite understand it. But I don't know if it's going to save her life if there was a chance that she might die. So I'm just going to try doing it for robin as well and just kind of see where we end up okay so i got them to watch comedy together because it was one of her whims now she wants to cook a meal so i'm gonna get them to cook a meal together as well plus that's so helpful like because you know coral's gone to bed in my bed okay coral's gone to bed because he's sleepy after doing all that writing today Mahina's coming from her job and she looks absolutely shattered as well. So it's nice when the kids like want to help out and do some cooking. So we're going to do just that. Plus it helps us out with our cooking and... Uh, oh, yes. Okay. She's decided that she likes cooking, which is great because once I get her cooking skill up enough, I can start to unlock gourmet cooking and I need to max that for not so berry. So I definitely need to get on that. And her... Okay. I'm at 2,095. Can I actually buy anything yet that's going to help me? I can't can get entrepreneurial. I feel like that's going to be very, very helpful, to be honest. So I think if I get an entrepreneurial, it's going to help her out as soon as we join the police career. Let's go ahead and redeem that. Boom. It was very worth it focusing on whims today because it's already helped us out with our future. And I'm going to be funny with Trey as well and see if that helps me with joke star. So funny. Let's tell him a good old knock knock joke. Oh, <gasps> boom. Okay, milestone complete. So we are now on the second part of our joke star. So I've got to become an adult and join. Oh, join the entertainment career. Wait a minute. <laughs> How do I have two jobs at once? Oh, it doesn't say I have to max my aspiration. It just says like, it has to be my aspiration. So I want to be a comedian, but I've got to max the detective career. Okay, so I don't actually have to master the joke star aspiration. Good to know. Although I'm interested, if you guys have played Knott's Berry, have you still done it anyway? Let me know which what you guys have decided to do or whether once we max the detective career, we quit to become an entertainer. I don't know. And we've hit level six of cooking. How long until I unlock gourmet cooking? Hopefully not too long. Finishing the day out with a workout with Trey as well. Because, you know, he's a bit of a jock. And I do want to build muscles whilst putting in minimum amount of effort. Has got me to fitness level four as well. Oh, Mahina's got the emotion bomb. No. And I don't actually know whether I'm going to need fitness for the police career. But I'm kind of feeling like I probably will. So I'm just getting it ready. Although we still really hate, really hate fitness. So she's heading to bed now and we have two days left until she becomes an adult. So it kind of feels like in the next episode, Robin is going to age up and move out and I'll get to start her on the detective career, which I am so excited about. I'm so ready to play with the small household again. I prefer a small household. Honestly, I do. And I feel like... Uh... 
Oh my gosh, no way. No way. How? How were you pregnant? Coral, how were you still so fertile? You're old! It is Coral's baby, right? Please tell me it's Coral's baby. How has this just happened at the end of the episode? What? How have you just done this to me, game? After I just said I don't want to be playing with a big household? Please tell me it's his. Please tell me it's his. Please tell me it's his. I can't believe he's procreated at this age. You're not even going to be around for the baby's life. Oh, like, yeah. seriously. Tell Coral he fathered Mahina's child. Funiana. Truth. John but he How did you feel about getting pregnant as well? Like, what was your thoughts? Is neutral? How about Coral? Is neutral? You're so old! Like, this is just a really bad idea. Sim, seriously. No bad surprise. And geez, that was, uh... That was a bit of a shock, wasn't it? So, that's how we've ended the episode. Starting with letting Sims do whatever they wanted. I let these guys woo-woo because Mahina is a... Uh, romantic sim and i thought that would be a nice thing for love day and what if i ended up with babies so that's a lesson learned there we've lost blossom she's gone off into the wild i don't know what she's doing with her life right now but she's not doing it here anymore but these guys did do it here and now they've got a baby on the way so yeah seems like robin could have a brother or a sister or both who knows i guess we'll find out in the next episode <laughs> so yeah lessons learned control your sims because they do be wild in don't let them give in to their whims because they will just end up pregnant when you don't want them to. And I will see you guys in another episode. Bye.